Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. But here's the real question. What makes that punch so devastating? Is it raw muscle? Is it speed? Or is it something much deeper, hidden in physics, timing and technique? Today we're breaking down the science of punching power. By the end, you won't just understand it. You'll know how to start building knockout level power yourself. In this video, you'll discover the E four stages of a powerful punch, legs, hips, core and delivery, the hidden science that separates a tap from a knockout. You'll also learn practical drills you can start today, no matter your level. Whether you're a fighter, a coach or just a fan, this will change the way you see every punch thrown. Stage 1. Legs. The foundation. Punching power doesn't start with your fists, it starts with the ground. Think of the legs as the engine. When you push off the floor, Newton's third law comes into play. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The harder you drive against the ground, the more force you can send up your body and into your opponent. If you've ever wondered why coaches scream, sit on your punches, this is why. The power begins in your legs, not your arms. Stage two, hips, the rotation. Once your legs generate force, the hips act as the gearbox. Power is transferred through rotation. Studies show rotational torque in the hips is one of the strongest predictors of knockout ability. Fighters like Gennady Golovkin or Canelo Alvarez are masters at this, turning their entire body, not just swinging their arm. To train this, try medicine ball rotational throws. Focus on explosiveness, not just strength. Think snap, not grind. Stage three, core, the bridge. The legs create power, the hips rotate power, but the core is the bridge. Without a solid core, energy leaks. Imagine a cracked water hose, pressure escapes before it reaches the end. Same with a weak core in boxing, sit-ups, band twists. Ever notice how fighters like Manny Pacquiao or Lomachenko look smaller than their opponents, but still rattle them with shots? Their core acts like steel cables, keeping every ounce of force connected. Now comes the part most people focus on, the punch itself. But here's the truth. Your arm is just the delivery system. Think of it like a whip. The whip's power isn't in the tip, but in the transfer of energy down the line until it snaps at the end. That's your fist. To develop this snap, practice shadow boxing with full extension, but relaxed hands, then tighten the fist only at the last split second. The secret factors, speed plus timing. Here's a bonus, raw strength alone doesn't guarantee knockout power. Speed and timing are multipliers. A fast punch delivered at the exact moment an opponent moves into it. That's double impact. Think about Juan Manuel Marquez knocking out Pacquiao. Perfect timing, perfect mechanics. Practical drills, round up. Let's recap drills you can start today to build real punching power. Heavy bag with leg drive focus. Medicine ball, rotational throws, core stability and rotational strength. Relax and snap shadow boxing. If you found this breakdown eye-opening, hit that like button and share this with your training partners. They'll thank you. And I want to hear from you. Which stage do you think you need the most work on? Legs, hips, core or delivery? Drop your answer in the comments and let's compare. Subscribe animation with boxing glove punching, subscribe button. Comment bubble icons popping on screen. Remember, a knockout punch isn't born in your arm. It starts from the ground, flows through your body, and ends with precision. Train smart, focus on mechanics, and you'll unlock power you didn't know you had.